everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are shooting another video. This will be Trucker Vlog number five. We are in Bethel, Bethel, Pennsylvania. I just got off the 78 and there's a little, uh, there's a gas station or a petrol station on both sides there so I was able to stop real quick and get the camera mounted up. This is a little one light town which right here is down to Lancaster today and uh, by the opening video you saw him driving the little truck today. I only drive this once in a while. I've wanted to shoot with the tractor but I'm only picking up a couple skids today so I figured I'd shoot with this truck so it'd be a little different. You're gonna see a white hood instead of instead of a black hood. We got a ton of snow. We got almost three feet weeks ago and we've had a couple little storms in between yesterday we got another eight to nine inches so I definitely wanted to get some shots or at least a couple of these vlogs with all the snow on the ground before it's gone so like I said we're already leaving the town of Bethel I figured I'd let this run the next big big town will be Myerstown which would be about 10-12 um, minutes away so you get to see some farmland covered in snow. Here's an old church up here. There's a little road that goes to the left here, and there's a big sign that says no trucks, and it says there's a historical bridge down there. And one of the, there's nowhere to pack, park, park, it's like a, somebody from Boston, there's nowhere to park a tractor around here. But I always wanted to walk down and check that bridge out. Maybe one day we'll get some, get some shots of it. Over here on the right is a little uh, grocery store. It's called Morning's Market. You see a lot of Amish and Pendulite going in and out of there. They actually have, I can't touch the camera, but on the one side of the parking lot, they actually have areas where the horse and buggies can pull up and they can hitch their horses just like the old days in the West. This is uh, Route 501. We're going south. This road right there where I started the video, Interstate 78 was there. I, that's where I got off at. Um, where we're going, there's only two turns. One was back there at the light. One here is at this light. Is the only times that I turn. I stay on 501, but they're only the two turns. After that, I stay on the road straight all the way to my destination. Oh, excuse me. I hope everyone is well. We're at the end of February. We're coming up near it. I don't know when this will air. Probably sometime late March. I'm definitely ready for spring. Uh, EMS station there on the left, Bethel County Ambulance. It's a KW with a tanker. I doubt we'll see any horse and buggies today, but you never know. A couple of nice ranch houses there on the left. Try not to have the wipers going too much. There's a, sli a slight snow flurry. Another uh, YouTuber I like for cooking is called Sam the Cooking Guy and if you've seen some of my older videos I like to try some of the recipes that he posts and recently he posted two. One was steak three ways which is not that hard but he did a side with each, with, with each one and a lot of them were just typical steakhouse sides and one of them was cream spinach. Now I never liked spinach as a kid but as I've gotten older some of my taste buds changed and when I watched him make it he sauteed up uh, bacon and onion, and then he took the frozen spinach that you get in your freezer aisle in the grocery store, nuked it a little bit, drained all the water out, and then sauteed it all together. I think he added a little milk or some cream. I have to watch the video again. The point of my story is I'm picking up some sirloins today and making uh, sirloin steaks tomorrow in the snow, out in the room, uh, the, the cream spinach and the twice baked potatoes. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow's meal. Then he also posted a video about homemade uh, stuff, homemade macaroni and cheese. And funny story about that, when I was a little kid, my, my dad used to make it, and it used to drive him up a wall because he would take the time and make homemade macaroni and cheese, and I didn't like it. I always told him I, I wanted the, the box craft stuff. That's the, if you're not from around here, that's the stuff they buy in the box with the packet of the, you know, the cheese mix. I always liked that. I still like that, but uh, once again. 
again, my taste buds change. And, uh, I like the homemade stuff. That was a uh, Mennonite school there on the left. Another KW in the flatbed. You see a lot of flatbeds here. About another five on the other side of that Myers town, there's a place that makes uh, roofing shingles. So a lot of trucks come from 78 where I got off of and go down there to pick up loads of shingles. Road doesn't look too bad down here. At least it's pretty clear where the tires go. There's a little roadside side stand there. I never stopped at that one. There's one on the right further down here that I've stopped at a couple times. And I've seen that guy at the auction if you've seen some other videos. His house is down here on the right. That's a really big farm. I don't know how much it caught, but they got three of those really big chick coops plus two, three, a house, they farm. Another big farm up here on the right. Over the crest of this little hill, there's this little uh, town. It's not even a one light town. It's just a little town that you want to drive through. Uh, you can see, oh, a tanker sliding up there. Ooh, that's not cool. Um, it's called Mount Etna. We're just going to breeze right through it. Um, they have a pizza place on the right, which there's enough room on that side of the road when I'm coming back. I'm able to pull my trailer off, but the pizza's not that great. But out in the middle of nowhere, if you need a snack, it'll do. Also, a trucking company on the right. I can't think of the name right now, but he has all custom KWs on a lot of the curtain side trailers. I think he has a truck show there once every every September. I'll point it out when we pass by. This is that next town I was talking about. It's 35 through here, which we're not going fast today. There's that pizza place on the right. not shifting gears this little truck's automatic it holds 12 skids in the back it's a 26 foot box 2016 Freightliner this Sunoco has truck parking you can pull a trailer in there and go around back they have breakfast sandwiches but I mean it's gas station food here's that place I was talking about it's called Lantia Lanta. Yeah, you can't see it he has this one red KW, I think it's the owner's, it's extended. It kind of looks like the same colors as the BJ and the Bear truck. Really, really nice. I pulled over one time, over here in the summer, there was uh, one of my videos, the eight, eight mules pulling a cultivator. I was in the field over there. This is Dutch Valley here on the left. They're a pretty good sized truck and fleet. They have a bunch of KWs. I don't know what it is around this area, there's KWs everywhere. turns up ahead and then we're going to go down a long downhill and that's going to take us into Myers Town. Once we get into town there I'll wrap up this video. Yeah it's just wet around here. Back in the Allentown area the roads were real sloppy. Real sloppy this morning. Oh no, 
that's an international. Shame I can't show it. There's a house here on the right. It's really big and has a barn. It's really beautiful how, how they redid it. And there's an Amish farm here on the left. I see him with all his horses out a lot. Not today, though. minutes. I guess we better wrap this up. All right, everyone. We got a red light up here. Look at the camera a little bit. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're still here, like, comment, subscribe if this is the kind of thing you like. Um, if you definitely like it, yeah, please subscribe or even consider sharing. That would help this guy out a lot. I love making videos and, you know, interacting with people and just trying to grow the channel. I have no delusions. I'm never going to be a big YouTuber, but I always want to keep that little gradual uh, growing going. So, uh, Thanks again, and uh, hey, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.